Hello, my name is Emma Williams. In this video, I will help you get started with Flowforma process automation by giving you a basic understanding of the tool. This award-winning tool empowers business people to digitize their processes in-house without any coding experience. You can build something that we call flows, which are basically electronic processes for use in any department in any industry. For example, onboarding, risk assessment, contracts management, and change management are some of the processes digitized by Flowforma users. Imagine a hard copy paper form or manual form divided into various sections. Each section needs to be completed by a different person. Furthermore, each person might attach additional documents for others to view or approve. At the end of the process, you'll have a big stack of paperwork and or endless Excel sheets and emails with no central source of truth. Someone will have to tidy everything up and produce the final document. It's time consuming and steps might be missed along the way. Now step into the Flowforma world, where you can build an electronic workflow with steps for each part of the workflow, and each step contains the relevant questions. You can even apply business logic to the steps and rules to make sure the right people provide input at the right stage of the process. If need be, the questions can be set to be compulsory. When all steps have been completed, then the work is actually done. With Flowforma process automation, you will be able to capture data automatically, control the review and submission of data, define business processes based on your needs, adjust the flows if or when your business needs change, create flows based on steps and questions to ensure people can add and review the input at the right stage in the process, reuse flows so the exact same process is followed each time, apply business logic to your processes to ensure dates are valid, required questions are answered, information is sent on to the relevant people, and much more. Any data you capture when a form is used is stored securely in SharePoint. You can retrieve and view forms at any given point, all based on what you have been given access to in the tool. We will now demonstrate how Flowforma Administrator can transform a paper-based form, like this onboarding form, into an electronic workflow in a few simple steps. Now let's take a look at how to build a sample flow. A flow is the overall process template used to generate forms for the users to complete. A form is an electronic capture of data collated through a series of steps. Sitting on the SharePoint platform, we are presented with the Flowforma Welcome Dashboard. The dashboard displays forms started by the user, form templates, forms awaiting input, and more. A new process flow is created by clicking into Flows. Add a new item. Next, we click into the flow and access the Visual Flow Designer, where we will add the steps, questions, and business rules. Steps are sections of the form in which users will have to supply information. A step contains a block of data that is completed by one individual or a group of people. Different resources may be allocated to each step so that over time a complete set of data may be accumulated. You may add steps to your onboarding form to find out information such as employee details and employee work experience, for example. We simply click Add a step and complete the required information. A question is a user-defined field that will be used on a form to determine how the answers are collected and validated. It's time to start building your list of questions within your step. In this case, the first step on the form is New Employee Details. And the first question that we ask within this step is New Employee Name. We start by filling in the required details, such as question title. The question code is automatically generated. Choose various specifications for the question setup. Add more steps and more questions. And there you have it. You've built your first flow. 
business rules are used to add logic to flows, steps, and questions. Rules can be implemented on flows, either when they are loaded, started, or completed, steps, either when they are started or completed, and questions, or sub-questions, when the answer is updated. Back in the Flow Designer tool, business rules can be defined, such as sending an email when the step is completed. The Document Generator allows you to dynamically create complete documents from the data captured in the flows. These documents can be based on one or more document templates by adding data from your form fields to the templates. This allows the content of the documents to be customized for the intended recipients. In order to generate a document containing information regarding the onboarding form, we need to upload an onboarding document template to the Document Template Library. In the Document Template Library, upload the onboarding document from your computer. Type in the title and select the relevant flow. In this case, the onboarding process. Next, open the document. Select the Flow Forma tab and click on the panel at the top left corner. The Flow Forma panel opens. Select the answers to the relevant questions in Step 1. To find out how to get the Flow Forma tab in the Microsoft Word document, please visit our user documentation guide to learn how to install the Flow Forma plugin. Now we need to apply the Generate Document Business rule in the process flow. Go to Flows and open the onboarding process. Click on the Onboarding Details step and then Add Rules, Communications, and finally Generate Document. From the user perspective, a user who wants to submit a form simply opens Flow Form a Process Automation, clicks on Forms, then clicks Create New Form, and finally selects the process. Once the user completes the first step, a process will kick off. The manager, HR, and the CEO will all be notified by email so they know which tasks to complete. A document will be generated containing the answers to all questions in Step 1. And that's your first process, digitized using Flowforma Process Automation.